Welcome to part two of South Park The Stick of Truth. Remember what I said about garages having padlocks and certain chests have padlocks? Well this is one of those garages to have a padlock and it belongs to Butters' family. By the way, the Stotch family, save for Butters, Behold, are a bunch the of jerks. Butter the grandmother, butter. father, and mother are butter jerks. Really is a very Especially the boy. father. I hope you're treating However, you, what a normal child. you will be, ah, this must be the new able kid. to friend Facebook them me right on away Facebook by just talking to them. For. And see what I mean by being a jerk? His father said, you text me on Facebook so I can find a reason to ground Butters. And Butters is just too nice of a kid to have the crap that his family put him through happen to him every episode that they're on. But we just got ourselves a perk and we could go on ahead and go to abilities to find the perk. Now, the perk that I'm going to be using is going to be um, all out of bubblegum. That is one of the perks I'm going to be using. And the reason why I'm using all out of bubblegum is because of the fact that all the bubble gum will turn all of my healing items, whether it's the cure potion, mana potion, a water balloon, or even a speed potion. Oh wait, it's not, not the water balloon, sorry. Just let me correct myself. The speed potion, yes, you will get speed potions later on, but all the bubble gum will turn those into attack items. Or attack buff items. That's what I meant to say, yes. And having that perk will make this whole entire run a hell of a lot easy. That's why even if I put on the hardest difficulty, there would be no Look, challenge because of that perk. There are certain other Those perks I want to put on they too, especially that. one that will improve prove the damage on anyone being uh, lacerated, so I'll worry about that later. Right now, if you're in Butters' room, just look in the Butters' drawer for the Chaos Key and also pick up that Chin Pokemon. Of course, you're not going to miss it. You can always come back to Butters' house to get that Chin Pokemon. But there are Chin Pokemon you will miss. And also, the key to Butters' uh, family's garage, well, the Stotch family garage, to be honest with you, is in the Stotch family's bedroom, or at least the parents. Again, Butters' parents are jerks. I might as well also stop and stock on on some more ammo if you catch my drift. I might as well show off how, what that does. Well, that is if I do get into a battle. But, I'm only going to show off uh, mandatory it's battles. It means you get a free like, for hit. instance, the hobo fights. Yes, those. that's a thing, by the way. <clears throat> but... Other than that, any other battles with random elves, unless they're a new type of elf, since you've already seen elves before, and unless they're mandatory as well, I'm only going to show off the fights that are mandatory. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. But anyway, there are the druid gloves, and for some reason they look like teddy bear outfits. Wait, wasn't there something up there? I could have sworn I saw something up there. Hold on, give me a second. I thought I saw a ladder. Oh, no, no ladder. Okay. And I got a key from Cartman's house, so I could just, uh, cast the Chin Pokemon that's in there, too. Oh, and we can't go there just yet. This area right here, we need a special ability for that, too. And those rats will be there for a reason. Now then. Just break open that barricade. And also, come here and break the snow and get this chest here too. You're gonna need a PowerPoint potion. Trust me. <laughs> Timmy is actually the horse and carriage man. How nice. But... Here's the thing, <laughs> Timmy can only go where there are red flags and horns, and that's what these banners are for. There are ten of them that you can find in day one, however, the last one you have to find in day two after certain events. So you'll be able to go through certain parts of town just by honking the horn, 
and this would make the playthrough a hell of a lot better. However, you still will have to walk certain distances in order for you to get to um, certain points of the story. By the way, walk here, and you'll be thrusted into an actual mandatory battle. And yes, this is a mandatory battle because it shows off how the partners work in this game. You only yeah, got two people in your party, road. whereas nice enemies can have up to four, five, or in the case of bacteria, up to six. And that can be very bothersome. Yeah. Now then, uh, Suck it. you see that little mage that is right next to the fighter? You're yeah, like a he can be annoying. As he can resurrect yeah, fallen here, enemies. Uh, and I just showed I off Butter's healing ability. And Butter's ability can heal just about all of your HP so long as you tap the button correctly theory. when he does so. And speaking of uh, uh, button presses, you have to time the button press of uh, Hammer of Storms or else you'll be taking damage too. And now, to introduce the bad stats, one of which is bleeding. Bleeding only occurs when you're hit with barbed arrows or certain attacks that causes bleeding. And although it lasts for five turns, you're just going to be losing health. You can remedy that by taking a cure potion. And this is where all out of bubblegum comes into play. The moment I take the cure potion, I get an attack boost. Make sure you always carry a few potions. Now then, um, there is one thing that needs to be pointed out. You can't hurt me. While you could be affected by bad stats, your enemies can too. Uh, also, bleeding actually stacks. There you go. So it'll be lasting longer than five turns. It'll probably last about ten or twenty turns. And if it lasts about 20 hey, turns, then, uh, yeah. Oh, if left unchecked, you pretty much are screwed, Sir, or you pretty please. much won. Fire can stack, too. Like, burning bad stack can actually stack. And speaking of things that could probably stack, Man, it, I could it be will watching TV right probably, now. I'm not too sure, gross out. Gross out is one of those moves that has to be cured oh, by a cure on. potion first before you actually can heal the damage from it. Oh, so long yeah. as that person is grossed out, they'll be vomiting every turn, losing health. It's sort of like disease. But as for burning, burning will leave an enemy susceptible to Wait, farts if they are caught on fire. And of course that, that can is. stack. <laughs> And while I just mentioned farts, we won't be seeing that until, uh, I do believe, part five. But yeah, I just wanted to point out what burning does. And then there's like two other, no, oh, there's three other uh, bad stats. Defense down, obviously, the lower your defense is Elves are kicking my ass, Jesus Christ. Uh... There's also Sleep, which obviously puts you to sleep, and Screwed, which is the death sentence. There are many, many enemies in this game that uses the Screwed status. And by many, I mean most of the enemies in the forest and the optional boss of the game. It would be in your best interest to uh, have a lot of Cure Potion if you uh, get hit on. with the screwed status. Because if you don't, well obviously you're going to die. We're still doing this, right? But there is one last status <sighs> that I need to mention. And that won't be appearing until later on in the game, and it's known as Dire AIDS. What Dire AIDS does is make you susceptible to other bad stats, but at the same time, it cannot be cured except for in a different like area. Yeah, we just beat those elves, and we almost got stomped, but we managed to win, at least. Anyway. 
Um, Dire Aids is one of those things where you got to at least Sorry, have some money to have cure yourself friends. if you happen to catch it. Thankfully, we won't have to worry about that till later on in the game. Okay, officer, but baby. That I'll be Here's another friend you, request from Officer Barbary. Or Butt Brady, if you, Bud Brady, if you want to be funny about that. Now, we can't get any treasure until we get something to get up to that roof level. So, yeah. Actually, we can also go into Tom's Rhinoplasty. As a matter of fact, that's what we're going to right now. See, there's a friend in here, too. Stan's mom. You will never because she works at Tom's Rhinoplasty. Oh, and that's also the business office key. Man, so, what's in here? Uh, nothing of the sort. Oh, another facial design. So, let's talk to... Uh... Oh, hello. Are you mom. In some and go on ahead and buy... Um... One of these facial designs. Doesn't matter which. You can just buy one thing. And if you oh, buy that, you'll end up getting Sometimes we do two for Stan's one mom on your friends list. And so far, I've gotten, what, two more people on my friends list? Let's see. We're here in this area. We're in this office building. Oh, wait, this is the bank. Ah, yes, this is the bank. Can you keep a secret? So... Can I. Okay, this if we do any further, and <laughs> of course, Butters try to hold up the bank. Yeah, it's freaking it's hilarious. Hi, Butters. Good to see you too, Butters. Thanks for checking Now out. then, uh... Let's go over this file cabinet here. There should be some extra stuff. But, the baker is one of the more important things. Now if you talk to the baker... Hold on, go back. Go back, you idiot. Go back. Go back, you moron. Talk to the banker. Ugh. But as I was about to say, if you talk to the banker, the banker will take your $20. It's best to invest, like, uh, $70. Uh, yes, yeah, sixty dollars actually into the bank. That's all you need to do is invest sixty dollars into the bank, and then come back after day two and fight the guy. Yeah, that's right. You could fight the banker. But for now, uh, we're just traveling around town, just collecting stuff and getting friends and robbing places. I mean, finding treasure. Yes, finding treasure. Oh, right. Another uh, flag. There we go. And we won't worry about the sewers until later. Oh, and that dick in the uh, ticket booth, he's from the movie. So, yeah, he had a new voice actor, but yes. That's the same dick from the uh, South Park uh, movie who denied you really, uh, really, really. getting into Terrence and Phillip. Oh, by the way, talk to Damien who's in the back row. And Damien is from, like, the third season. And he will friend request you. Let's get all that stuff there. I'm pretty sure there's another chest around here somewhere. Ah, it's very much. It's a very tight space. But if you want to get through, destroy all the uh, cracked movie seats. That way, you'll be able to get to another treasure chest. Which should house. Ah, oh, revive potion. Yes, revive potions are in the form of tacos. Um, I have no words for that. And funny, out. I should say that too, that because of later on. Is harder than it looks. Rob Let's just leave. Also, in the background, you hear all of the Rob Come Schneider on, promotions. Oh, by the way, take out your bow and arrow or whatever long range weapon you have, really and catch great. that oh, you Pokemon nice on top theater. of the uh, movie theater. And I'm cutting out this battle. Yep. Hey, okay, you want to see a magic movie? of editing, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. 
No. Over here. This Don't coffee look. shop is where we're supposed you. to go, but it's me, Al Gore. We've got you something know, Al Gore. more important. important. All right, look. I've detected some very And that is Al Gore. In this area. I believe we are dealing Sorry, with Sorry, I Man didn't yes, stop the recording, Man but yeah. I know you're scared, Him? but I need help. Take these and uh, the location specified. I'll be Man dealing Man. with some of his and now missions I'm going to in make him part my friend 3. On this For is the time being, there's other things I need now, to do. But don't give it out to but anybody. I'm super What you serial. need to do Hurry. with that we must uh, know if Man Bear Pig uh, is here or not. Man Bear Pig radar is part of a side quest and also for the time being, you have a friend. Uh, might as well spoil it. You're going to end up unfriending Al Gore for various reasons. And I'll get to that part later on. But right now, let's see. What should I get? What should I get? Oh, you know what? Mulder seems fine, so I might as well get that since I have a melee... Uh fighter, and that'll make all of my weapons do more damage. That'll make things a hell of a lot better. Have you tried Tweak Brothers Coffee? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, then. As I was about to say, Tweak's, Tweak Brothers Coffee was the first place we need to go, but we're not going there just yet. Uh, we'll probably go to Token's house first, and that'll be in part three. But primarily, I'm just opening up quests, getting friend requests, opening up areas, and simply robbing and looting. You must uh, be in our little Bradley's class. Places, yes. I know yes. everyone thinks their child is special, but oh, I'm that was really the post office. I could just go in there. There we go. And speaking of getting a summoning, I did say that at the beginning of this part that we're going to get a summoning. Get on might as well try to find line. that summoning. It it's real simple, actually, since we're in the post yeah, office. The oh, and Butters hey, tried Butters, to rob the post kid. office, but everybody knows it's Butters, and he's too nice of a guy to do that sort of shit. I'd love to chat, but like you're unpopular. Oh, that girl? You need to be... I think there's two other girls like that, like her, but... That girl, you need to be, uh... Oh, and by the way, that's what you need to do in order to summon. Get the dildo that's in the uh, post office. But that girl in the post office is a friend that you need uh, 25 friends in order to get. Oh, forgot one thing. Okay, now we got everything. But yes. We just ended up getting a dildo that was on a mailbox. Thingy my Bob. I'm sorry, I'm trying to uh fathom the fact that we just retrieved the dildo before we even triggered the uh mission. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, it's not open. God damn it. Well, okay, okay. Gonna interview me for a piece Let's talk to her. Well we needed to talk to Esther anyway, me. so And there's a chimp Pokemon in there, but we needed ability for that later. Much, much later. Am I going to get all the Chin Pokemon? I'm going to try to shoot for that, but there's a good chance I might not get all the friends, because certain friends have certain uh, choices to them. You know what I'm saying? And by choices, I mean, like, depending on who you choose, you'll either be able to be friends with certain people, or you'll miss out on those friends. Let's see. We don't need to go to the photo dojo just yet. Oh wait, actually we don't have to go go to the photo dojo at all, not until like chapter like day three, sorry. Day three. Now then We're in the park and we can just talk to the Oh god damn it. Well, this one's actually a new enemy, so I might as well show this off. And this new enemy is the, uh, Elven Enforcer. The thing about the Elven Enforcer is they're carrying hoes. Uh, no, I'm not kidding. 
by their carrying hose and Elven Enforcers are really high in defense. Elven Berserkers, well... Feel that righteous fury! Was that Elven Yes, Elven Protectors are, uh... Quick to raise up their armor and use slowing smash. But the elven uh, enforcers are just easier to counter because they have a slow swing. It's better to actually uh, show off that. Where was that? Oh, yes. Backstab. Oh, actually, I need to show off Mug. Because I just got that ability. Okay, maybe I don't want to show off Mug. I don't know what Patsy oh, is gone. thinking, but... Ooh, that was good. Uh, let's see. Let's heal up, uh... Stop I should heal. I, I should heal. Yeah, I'll let's heal up you. myself. Now then, let's get rid of that shield. Aw, oh, too soon. Damn it. They're double teaming butters. God damn it! That's the one thing I couldn't stand about the enforcer. If whenever one of your party members is at really low health, they will target the lowest uh, health. I mean, the party members with the lowest health. So if you're like on your way out the door, um, They'll follow whatever party member they have in their party in attacking the weakest member. Okay, let's heal Butters and get a boost and let's finish this guy off. Alright. Or at least try to finish him off. Thank you. I, that's what I want to do. More damage. Jesus Christ. Crap! Block too soon. Alright. Uh, I'll just backstab him then. That didn't count. And I forgot to mention slowed as far as the uh, status ailment. Slow means you're just going to be Losing a lot of turns. And, oh. Well, actually, your speed will go down. That's what that meant. And I also forgot about ability down. Because there is that, too. Um, ability down just means you're going to have less turns than the opponent. So, or at least that's what Come I think. Play, hide and, seek and now we found the Kindergartners. This is also another quest that we opened up. And we need to find all of the Kindergartners. They're in specific areas around town. Watch me inadvertently forget where one of the Kindergartners is. It never fails. But as far as the Kindergartners are concerned... Um... Oh yeah, I gotta get shrunk in order to get that chest over there, but as far as the Kindergartners are concerned, they're in various different areas. And I probably jumped the gun thinking that there is, like, Kindergartners in this area here, but there's not. There is actually one on the way to Mr. Slave's house. As a matter of fact, we, we should be heading to Mr. Slave's house. Oh, and also I was trying to collect junk. I'm gonna go ahead and sell off the junk eventually, so that I'll have more money. Ah, there we go, junk. Well, since there's nothing here, let's just get the hell out of here. To get the stick of truth, we must recruit the. Wait, where am I going? All oh, right. Uh, nothing here. That's Kyle's house. That's Dan's house. Oh, right. There is a garage here. Of course. Why Why isn't there? It means there is a garage in every single town in South Park. 
Let's see. Treasure chest here, and that is Druid Armor. Nice. Granted, it may not be useful right now because I'm at a low level. Yeah, almost forgot to mention. Just about all the weapons in this game is level locked. That friend request right behind the bushes, you need an ability for. Oh, and that guy, I should have destroyed the snowman. But, enough wandering around. Okay, stop wandering around past me. Let's just head over. Ah, there's a kindergartner right there. Billy tried to steal my hiding spot, but I made it now, away. Now, all we need to do is just find the remaining five. Of course, I'm going to find four of them next part. But, I will, however, get ourselves a summoning. And that's heading over to Mr. Slave's house. Now, all we need to do is to return the dildo. Thanks, kid. My night is looking a whole lot better now. Here, if you ever need my help, use this. I can't help with any tough fights, though. I don't want to get a fissure. Come back and find me if you want to call me again. But give it a day. I go to a lot of parties. And guess what? Mr. Slave is our summon. No, I'm not kidding. And yes, his powers are exactly what you think. Whoever you use that on will become the new Lemmy Winks. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with this part. We'll actually start quest and even visit Skier's Bar in part 3. This is RV Man 985. See you guys next time. And oh yeah, I almost forgot. In the next part, we'll also get another summoning. Someone you'll actually know all too well.